Hi, my name is Eric. I'm with the technical support team here at Parts Express International. Uh, today we're going to show you how to assemble the crossover network for the Tritrix speaker system. The uh, Tritrix speaker system uses a second order crossover. And second order means that there are two parts, a cap and a coil for each filter. So what I have here is the uh, finished crossover. Uh, it is mounted on just a piece of pine board. I cut this four by five and I used a hot melt glue to secure the parts to the board. You can use any material for your board, just you want it to be non-conductive. So the layout of the board, um, it seemed easiest to put the ground or common connection right down through the center of the board. And the low pass section for the woofer is on this side. And of course, big woofer, bigger parts. And on this side of the board is the high pass output section for the tweeter. And it also has a resistor in it to help attenuate the tweeter a little bit. To start building this, we'll start with the blank board. This guy is about four by five inches or so I thought was convenient. So we'll start off laying the ground wire and that goes right down the middle of the board. We'll hot melt glue the wire in place. It takes just a moment for the glue to, uh, to cool and solidify. So we'll glue this guy right in the second, or right in the center rather. We'll start doing the uh, low pass side. The low pass is the crossover for the woofer. And we're going to position the capacitor for the low pass circuit right there. And right behind it, we'll put the coil. So just a spot of hot melt glue right there. And we'll just lay the capacitor right in it. We'll take the coil and it has a sticker on it for its value. This is the 2.5 millihenry. It's the big one. And we'll lay it right there behind the capacitor that works with it. Try to look ahead here a little bit so we got enough wire to work with everywhere. That gives us plenty of wire. This is going to be our hot or positive output for the woofer. And it looks like positioned right there will be just fine. So a couple more spots of hot melt glue and we'll lay the inductor right in it. That's the low pass filter and of course once the glue sets up a little bit then we'll make our solder connections but we'll go ahead and continue to add parts here. Next part we'll add is the uh, this guy is a 2.4 ohm resistor and at this point in the circuit right here this is our, going to be our input to the board for the positive lead from the amplifier. So we're going to go ahead and turn a little hook into the end of this wire. It's kind of stiff. And do another one on this one. And we'll just hook those two guys together. Looks like we got enough room for everything to work and I can solder everything up. So we'll glue it about right there. And we'll set the resistor in it. It'll grab pretty quick. Okay, next comes the capacitor. Go right there. And we'll move our cap lead out of the way a little bit. This is our coil for our tweeter. So this guy is going to go right here and that's also our output. We'll go ahead and glue it in place right there. I've got one coil laying down, one coil standing up. And this prevents the two coils from talking to each other. Uh, we're what we call mutual inductance. And we'll let it sit there and that glue grabs that pretty quick. So that's the, the basic layout. Now all we have to do is make our connections and uh, we've pretty much got a crossover. So what I'm going to do here, we'll start over here. Um, this lead from the 2.5 millihenry inductor, the big one, this is going to be our output. This is going to be the positive lead to the woofer. I want to solder the lead from the capacitor to the lead of the coil. Now this coil wire is insulated and you, obviously you can't solder to the insulation. So you can use a pen knife, carton cutter, whatever you got. I'm going to use these wire cutters and just to scrape away that insulation. And you'll know you've got it out of the way. Of course, you'll see it come off 
what we're looking for is shiny bare copper wire beneath. So I'm just going to make a solder connection right there, plain Jane solder for electronics. Um, certainly do not use any kind of solder meant for plumbing or anything like that because it has acid in it and it will not make a good connection and you'll have problems with it. This has to get up to a high enough temperature for the solder to get into the metal and that, that's looking pretty good right there. So we got a lot of solder, a good connection. We don't need this lead sticking out right here so we'll cut the excess away. Okay, we'll move back here to the back. This is the input point of the board from the amplifier. So I'm just going to solder these two leads together and then I'm going to take a piece of red wire and make a lead out. I turned hooks in the end of both leads, hooked them together, wrapped the wire in there, and I'm going to solder all three pieces together. Okay, and again, why I soldered this red wire here is this is the positive input to the crossover. This goes back to the uh, positive output of the amplifier. Right here next to it is the negative. Okay, the next connection will be right here, which is uh, between the resistor, attenuation resistor, and the crossover capacitor for the high pass or for the tweeter. So with those leads, I got those leads touching together there, so as long as they're right there together, we'll solder them right there. Next connection again, right here, it's the same idea that we did on the output side with the low pass filter is we need to hook the end of the uh, coil with the con conductor, the end conductor on the capacitor. Here it's the other way, it's, it's the end of the coil needs to hook up to the end of that capacitor. Um, so actually since the, co the coil is a heavier wire, I'm going to use it for my output lead like I did over here. And I'm going to go ahead and just crimp that a little bit. That, those leads are a little rigid. Okay. And now we'll make a solder connection there. Again, be sure you get it hot enough. Looks like we got a good connection. And we'll bring this lead up forward. Okay. So our final connection is going to be right here at the ground point. I'm going to wrap that guy together. with the ground side of the coil and the negative wire coming in from the amplifier. And we'll solder this guy. There. I'm going to trim away that extra piece of wire there and this crossover is finished and it's good to go. And again the big coil, big cap, this is the positive output for the woofer so the woofer is connected between here and the ground. This is the positive output for the tweeter so the tweeter will be connected between here and ground. And that is a finished crossover. Okay, that about covers the assembly process of the Tritrix crossover. If you have any trouble uh, getting the crossover to work for you, you have any questions about assembly, hookup, or anything like that, please give us a call right away and we'll get you going and keep you going in the right direction. Hope you've enjoyed the project and we certainly hope you enjoy your new Tritrix speakers. Thanks.